Hey, what's up guys? Boss Hack 7 here, and today I'll be showing you how to add the fire effect in No Limits 2 using Best Danny's Fire Script. So first thing you want to do is download the file. There's going to be a link in the description below. Next, copy the file from your downloads into your desired park file. Next, open up No Limits 2, go to Editor, press File, Open, and go to your park file that you put it in. In this case, mine is benches and tables from the tutorial I did a few weeks ago. There should be a file or a park file in there called Fire Particle Effect. Click on it, open it. Okay, now once you get it open, go to File, Extract Package. It should be named Fire. Press OK. Yes to Extract Package. Okay, now once you get it extracted, there should be a new file in your com.nolms 2 coaster file called fire. Open the file called fire and there should be another file called fire and copy that entire file into your park file and delete the one we added earlier from downloads. All right, now once you've done that, go back into Nolimits 2, go to file, leave editor, press exit, press editor, go to file, open, go to your park and open it. All right, now once you get it open, I've already set up a little example here. So you would have, go to your scenery. You're gonna have a fire file here. Press open and go to fire effect. Click on it, press okay, go to add object. And that will give you one of these. So now if you just add the object normally, as you'll see in a sec, this by itself, with no modifications will go off every 30 seconds. So you'll see the fire go off every 30 seconds. Now, if you want to trigger, you got to add it to the coaster. So let's unfreeze the coaster. In this case, it's called tutorial. Now to add the trigger, it's really simple. So go to your fire and this is the name of the coaster and this is the name of the trigger. So make sure you have your, your, your own name of the coaster here and the name of the trigger. So if you go to the trigger, if I want to name this um, fire, press apply and I name this one fire, it'll go off based on the trigger. So you can have multiple fire effects. There we go. Make sure that they're exactly the same. Get out it for this one too. Press apply. And these two should go off by themselves every 30 seconds. All right, now let's test it out. Let's freeze it. Now the fire effect will only be triggered by the first train of the fire. So just keep that in mind where you're placing the trigger. There you go, both effects going off. minute here these should be going off any second these go off after 30 seconds there we go all right and this is a tutorial for the fire effect hopefully this helped you guys out and if you guys have any more suggestions for tutorials make sure to leave a comment down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe